Good morning everyone. Today we are going to take apart the Lenovo Think Center Edge 92Z. Um, it's relatively simple to take apart, but we thought we'd do a video for you anyway. So you've got these two bottom screws down here. Um, these undo, but they won't actually come out. So you just unscrew these. One second. And then you've got the one hinge screw on the back of the stand. Now this will actually remove, so we'll put that over the side, and this comes out. Okay, so inside what we've got is two more screws holding the stand on. That can come off. I don't think they even actually need to come off. So, one second. Now, all of these all in one units are held together with clips. So, um, I haven't actually I haven't taken this one apart before, but you can see there's a little groove there, so you can actually pick it up. Um, now, it's important to use something plastic. So, I use my Toys R Us consumer card, loyalty card. Um, they just run it around the inside edges to get it to lift up. Um, take your time because you don't want to um, yeah, hack it all up and make it all messy. Not yet. A little USB stick for the wireless keyboard and mouse. You hear them all just pop, and you slowly work your way around. Let's get it close. There we are. Yeah, sometimes these can get pretty tight, so they just need a bit of force. So that comes off. And as you can see in here, um, you've got your hard drive, standard IDE, uh, sorry, SATA 3.5 inch. So you've got one screw on the side, down this edge here. And then this is just gonna pop out, so little solder lead, you just disconnect that and four screws on the side like any standard three and a half inch drive. Now, I'm actually gonna put a two and a half inch uh, Samsung Evo in this for performance boost and this hard drive is actually playing up for my client. Now, what we've found is that the SSD mounts, the two and a half to three and a half inch don't really fit very well. Um, same with a lot of these, like the HP all-in-one, uh, the Acer all-in-one, you know, they never actually fit that well. You can try out your mount, see if it fits, but if it doesn't, a little tip is you can just use some cable ties um, or just tie it in some way. It doesn't even matter if it moves a little bit because the computer's going to be mostly, you know, standing still all the time. So. And voila, one separated hard disk. Now you could just go and get yourself a three and a half inch drive mount, mount the disk and then do data recovery that way. If the, you know, if the hard drive's already dead, um, hopefully you'll have some luck getting the files out of it that way, your pictures and documents and all that. Um, you've got your optical drive here. Now, under here is where your logic board is gonna be. Uh, so we've got one screw here. Look, as I said, I haven't actually taken this one apart before, so bear with me. Okay. 
it's actually got about four screws on the inside here. But it's like two of them are holding this block down, so we'll pull this up. So this looks like your power transformer, so be careful with this. Um, there's two of those screws that I just mentioned are actually holding this in place. I probably wouldn't be taking that off. It's um, probably not a wise idea. Uh, but let's have a look at what else is on this. There we are, so yeah, here's what we're after. So this, it's actually got a little cooling fan on it. You can just unsocket that, that's fine. Oh, she's tight. Cool, yeah. Um, while you got it open, it's a good idea if you get some compressed air, just give the cooling air system a little bit of a clean out, not essential. Um, and yeah, here's your memory dim, so you can change those up. Um, you've actually got a wireless adapter under here as well, so you can pull that out and put in like an Intel 7200 AC, like wireless and Bluetooth, and upgrade the, the wireless system. Um, that's probably as far as you need to go, this really, unless you're going to change the screen, there's not much point going any, any further in. Um, but yeah, cool, I hope this video helps you. Um, subscribe if you like it, and yeah, thanks, we'll see you at the next video. Cheers, bye.